Affiliate marketing sales funnels, what are they and how to use them? We're gonna get into that today here, let's go. Now remember, if you're brand new to the channel, if you're someone who is looking to learn affiliate marketing, network marketing, digital marketing, basically anyone looking to take the product or service that they have and use social media and use these different platforms to grow their business, definitely subscribe to the channel. So go ahead and click the subscribe bell and you'll be notified every single time that we do new content. New content drops every Monday and Wednesday. Now today, we're gonna do something a little bit differently. I just got off a private call where for two hours, I shared some behind the scenes stuff for affiliate marketing sales funnels, capture pages and all that good stuff. I've actually taken a 30 minute snippet of that. And remember, people paid a thousand dollars to get on this call and you're gonna get it here today. So in a second, let's jump to my desktop and I will show you a snippet of inside the call where I break down uh, our most highest converting uh, capture page, the sales page, and I'll also give you access to the template so you can just install it into your own ClickFunnels account. Sound good? All right, let's get over there right now. It's on the line. What is a sales funnel? In its bare bones, stripped away form, it is a sequence of web pages, either one, two, maybe three web pages that takes someone from I don't know you through to I'm doing business with you regularly. Someone from I don't know if I should buy to where do I sign up, where, where's the checkout page. Someone that maybe doesn't even know they have a pain all the way through to that person saying, oh, thank goodness I found you. I need to resolve my XYZ issue. And how we do that, and I'm going to share here in a second some examples of different sales funnels that you can use inside of your business. But if you think of it, what we've been doing, we've been stacking everything from week one, two, and three. We've been stacking everything on top of each other. So when we get to this point, we have all the pieces of the puzzle. Now, today is going to be, quote, unquote, the last piece of the puzzle that you need to create in order to have a high converting sales machine, AKA sales funnel. Because we all, if you remember, we already went through in, uh, I was gonna say season two, in session two, we already went through our buyer's awareness, the buyer's journey, we went through our avatar training, we went through all of the different things that we need to know about our prospect so we know how to speak to them, what language and messaging to use, when it comes to their awareness, right? We also know what is their interests, what is the things that keep them awake at night, their pains, frustrations, their desires, what is it that they want to achieve, all of those different things. Then our sales funnel, our one, two, or either three page sales funnel is gonna allow them to move through a process to move into a buying decision and allow them the actual process, the physical process of taking action in order to become a sale because we're going to educate them, entertain them, and influence them to make the sale. And your sales funnel does all of that. So in a nutshell, your sales machine is a process that you have online to take someone from, hey, what is this, to, hey, take my money, without you having to physically be there, without you having to do the one-on-one -on -one call, the one-on-one -on -one email, the one-on-one -on -one prospecting, all of that stuff. Yes, you may do the one-on-one -on -one marketing and outreach on the front end, but the actual mechanism in which sells your product, entertain and educates your prospect and allows them to buy is going to be inside of your sales funnel. Comprende? Okay. So now that we know what a sales machine, AKA sales funnel is, let's quickly go over some different examples and design framework because not all funnels are created equally. If you are selling a $7 or a $10 or a very low under $30 ticket item, you don't need a two, three, four, five page sales funnel. You don't need an hour long webinar. You need one page that would just give that person 
the, the, the enough information, the enough, give that person enough information that they feel confident in buying and they know all of the benefits. You don't want to overkill it. So let's go through some examples here of some sales funnel. Now, everybody that's on live, do you have a sales funnel right now? Please put in the chat, let me know yes or no. Do you have a sales funnel? And if you do, are you making sales from your sales funnel? Now, in a moment, I'm going to share some different examples that you could use. Let's say that you're a network marketer or uh, an affiliate marketer and you already have your main offer. You're not going to be selling your main offer, your network marketing company video or the webinar for your affiliate program or the sales page for your affiliate program. That's the mechanism that's going to be actually selling your prospect. So you're only going to be using a, a two page funnel to collect leads and pre-frame your buyer, get them the right info that they need to know about you and what's in store for them next before they click through to the next, uh, to the next thing. So let's de let's jump into a few of the different funnel examples. Okay. And I have in this document that you'll have access to today, I have given you templates. So all you have to do is legitimately click a button and it will install into your ClickFunnels account. And then I've given you the templates of the copy, what to change to add in your specific brand message, industry, and desires. It's as plug and play as possibly can be. So number one, let's look at a product sales funnel. So this would be if we are selling a, an information course, maybe if I packaged up this five week hexagon method stuff and put it into a recording course and sold it, this is exactly the model that I would probably go after. Number one would be our landing page. So this is basically only put there to collect leads, right? You've seen it before. Someone comes to a page and then you ask them for their email or name an email or name, email, phone number. Or if you're in different industries like weight loss and insurance and different things, when you're getting quotes, they might ask for four or five different fields uh, of information from you. Okay. So the sales funnel first page, some people call it a landing page, a lead capture page, a sandwich page, a squeeze page, an opt-in page. Any other pages? There's lots of references and terms for them, but they all do the same thing. It's a simple one page that you've put up there to do one thing, and that is gather your audience's first information, okay? So when someone hits that one first page and they either see an image or a video of you, there's going to be either a button or an opt-in form below for them to put their info in. Once they've seen your information or once they've given you their information and click submit, they're now going to be brought through to the second page inside of your sales funnel, which is going to be your sales page. This is one's going to be a bit beefier. It's going to have a bit more content on it, depending on the price point in which the product you are selling. It could be a four minute video sales letter, which is just a video explaining what it is you have, why they should uh, use it and how they get it. Or maybe you have a long text uh, webinar, or sorry, long text sales page written out inside there with an order button. This, uh, Grinnell, do you understand this? Are you getting this, the sales funnel? All, all, you may ask, what's the difference between a website and a sales funnel? Well, with a website, there's normally 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 different pieces of, of entry points or distractions for a person to click on. There's an about B, there's a contact us, there's a blog part, there's just so much going on. And while, yes, it is good to have that for a branding perspective, when you're wanting to make sales, you have to eliminate confusion, you have to eliminate decisions and just give or eliminate the options and variety of decisions so you're only giving your prospect one thing that they should do, one objective to complete. So a website, a sales funnel is similar to a website. It's just stripped back and you're being specific on what you give the person so they're only seeing what you want them to see to move through a process clearly. Awesome. Uh, the, the next thing that we could do inside of our sales funnel is once someone's seen our sales page and they click to buy, we could have what's called a one-time offer page where you would be giving them access to something uh, at the same price point or more for more of the same thing. If you're in the weight loss or supplement space, they do this all the time. Uh, let's say you go to a sales page to buy 
a very popular product called Organifi, which is a tub of greens, basically, that you mix with water and drink. They, they'll sell you whatever amount you've bought. And then on the next page after you've bought, lo and behold, here's a discounted page for you to get three or four or five or 10 for a discounted price. That's an upsell. Next through that upsell page, whether someone clicks it to buy it or not, they're gonna come through to a confirmation page. So this is a pretty straightforward and simple product sales funnel that you'll have access to. Again, I, I've, uh, I've made templates for everyone to just plug and play into their ClickFunnels account. Now, if you don't have ClickFunnels, you use some sort of other website or sales funnel tool builder, you're just gonna have to bring up the templates and then copy and paste them and kind of model it into your own uh, builder. Uh, I would recommend for sure getting ClickFunnels because to me, it's not just a website and sales funnel builder, it's the way to accelerate an idea into profit. It's, it's the way for Layla and I to have an idea on Monday about something and quickly get it digitally put into a process that I could now market it and make money from. And it really, and everything that we do online, we want to do it as quick and, and implement as quickly and efficiently as possible. That's why we love ClickFunnels along with many, many other features and, and different things that go along with it. But to us, we can't live without it because of the, the feature being able to have an idea Monday, have it up and ready to make money by the Tuesday, okay? Then the next process that we would use, let's, let's use this example again. If we were gonna sell the Hexagon Method training sessions as a video course, we might use it inside of a webinar funnel. So our first page, we wouldn't be bribing them with a, a checklist or an ebook or an audio. We would be getting them to register for our upcoming webinar or training that's gonna be happening. When someone uh, opts in, the second page they see is normally a confirmation page, which is nothing more than just a little bit of information telling them, hey, this is what time it's gonna be, this is how you access it, maybe a little bit of teaser on what they should do next and what's gonna be coming on the webinar. And then the third page is gonna be the actual webinar or web class or training where you would either have a page hosted with the video in there or you would send them to, like, like right now we're doing this call on a Zoom call. Zoom is a platform you use for webinars. There's other different tools out there to help you do that. And then below the webinar would obviously be a buy button. So you would send them to the checkout page. That's gonna be a, uh, or a, a sales webinar funnel. And we actually have that in place for you. Every example of funnel I'm showing you here, I have made a template for you modeled after Layla and I's successful funnels that we've used for years so you can just plug and play. Now, for everyone that's affiliate or network marketer, this is gonna be the funnel that you would use. It's, and I have that in there for everyone. It's just a simple two-page funnel where the first page is going to be the thing that you are giving them. If they're opting in for a free report, a book, an audio, a video training, a checklist, uh, an audit, some sort of free awesome giveaway that you can give to your audience that they would love to have, that they would actually pay for. So they give you their name and email. Once they opt in, you're gonna send them to page two, which will be your bridge page, which this is simply, it can be as simple as a headline or no headline and then a four to eight minute video, basically you telling them what it is you have, why it's important to them, who you are, and how they can access it. And when you do that, and then put a call to action button below, meaning a button for them to click through, then they can go and see your network marketing uh, corporate affiliate site, or if you're promoting an affiliate product, it's the affiliate sales page, but just, doing those two steps before, rather than just sending your outreach marketing straight to your corporate website, is gonna do so many different things, but it's gonna allow you to stand out from the noise inside of that market, differentiate yourself from everybody else promoting that, and evidently make more sales inside of your business because you're using a branded sales funnel that's to you, your brand, who you are, your story, but you, more importantly than that, you're actually talking the language of your audience. You're speaking the fr pains, frustrations uh, that they are going on in their head and the desires that you know your audience has, okay? 
And the last funnel I want to show you is one that Layla and I have used for years. We were using it before we even really thought about what it was conceptually that we were doing. And this is a funnel that doesn't even involve any sales pages. This is, we call this our invisible Facebook funnel. And if you go to our profiles, Layla or mine, and a lot of top marketers, you'll see them doing this. And what, what they actually do is they'll go to different niche specific Facebook groups or fan pages, leave value, provide value, They'll connect with friends who are inside of that industry or new people that have added them as friends. And then on their Facebook profile, they'll make sure to have specific things that would direct a new person to their profile to go through their funnel. So the first image that they would see, if you go to our profile and see, it's telling people to click the link and join our group. The banner that we have on our profile is telling people to do the same thing. And then a lot of our posts, even though it may not be a post directly talking about our Facebook group, will actually have in the bottom part or in the PS of the post or in the video or the live, we're saying to them, hey, if they want to join our private group, then they can find the link on our profile and click through to our group. And then the third page in this or the third uh, portion of this formula would be your Facebook group. So you would actually have a Facebook group niche specific to your audience, sharing value and different things. And the invisible Facebook funnel has been huge for us. It's done multiple six figures passively by Layla and I just doing what we normally do on Facebook, but having our profile and our Facebook group set up in a way to take someone who's uh, in our industry, interested about what we have to offer. They see an image for us, they click through, they come to our group. They consume information. It may be how you ended up buying Layla and I's Hexagon method to be on this class. I don't know. Does that make sense to everyone? Please give me a yes in the chat if the invisible Facebook funnel makes sense to everyone. And again, if you want a live example of this, all you got to do is come to, actually, let's do that right now. You come to Facebook. Uh, we go to my profile. Layla has this the exact same thing. Actually, I've taken that banner down. But here on the left-hand side, you see right here, what am I doing? I'm giving them specific directive on what to do next. Click the link above this image, learn how to build passive profits online by leveraging social media and affiliate marketing, join the free group. And then when someone clicks the link, they're gonna be brought through to our affiliate marketing training group we're in here, we're sharing obviously lives and trainings and different things throughout the day and throughout the week to build our brand and influence people into uh, no liking, trusting us basically at the same time of demonstrating our value. So when they are and make, about to make a buying decision about whatever our industry revolves around, they're gonna think about us. So here's an example of the banner and that stuff's awesome right thank you so much for watching make sure if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed go ahead and click the subscribe button below and click the bell so you get notified when we have new video content every monday and wednesday dropping if you want more information about affiliate marketing or the businesses that we promote we've put all the links in the description for you to be able to see some of the tools resources and offers that we promote ourselves if you want more of the uh, this training that you just watched was a snippet from our Hexagon method. It was actually a five-week implementation class that we have. If you want more information on that, go ahead and comment Hexagon method down below. I'll respond to you and share the information, all right? Make sure to check out some of our other videos that go hand-in-hand -hand with this subject that you're learning about. Let's go.